All right, guys, I'm back with um, another review, my second review, and I'm totally excited because I received some awesome nail mail today. It's these two new Moyo London plates from their new Scandi, probably like Scandinavian um, uh, line series, and I ordered number four and number five. And well, I just re literally just received them and, and got them out of there. Um, my mailbox and so I'm going to do some swatches. I have prepared four of my fingers and I'm also gonna do a couple swatches on a piece of paper. Um, so let's get started and have a look at the plates. So this is plate number four and these are the cute images. I, I don't know, I just always get suckered into when whenever Moyu sends me an email saying, wow, hi, we've got new plates. Look at these cute designs. and they always make these cute gifts, you know, where they have the, the images on one nail and they just keep changing and I always get suckered into it and then I have to buy, you know, <laughs> new Moyo London plates. And as always, they are on a paper backing. Um, no, not paper, plastic backing as per usual. And they have um, the particular girl of that particular line, the Scandinavian girl. That's very stereotypical. Isn't it? Well, anyways, <laughs> as per usual, they're on the plastic backing and they still got a blue film on it. So that's number four. Some cute city images. And I did really like that they included, um, this is uh, the Berlin, oh, what's it called? You know, TV broadcast, whatever, tower, I don't know. And also the Eiffel Tower and that Jesus statue from Rio de Janeiro and a Colosseum and the Sagrada Familia from uh, Barcelona. Um, oh, and there's the um, Bush Al Arab in uh, Dubai. I've actually been there. I've had lunch there. Am I fancy? Yes. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that was plate number four. Let's take a look at number five. And number five is more of your like. Um, background images um, and as per usual with the Mo Yolanda plates they are very very um, you know finely etched and they have these really fine lines that's the reason why I usually <laughs> typically use the, the Mo Yolanda sticky stamper for these images in particular because they're like so fine and otherwise you can't really you know they, they don't pick up as well. So that's plate number five. And I think I'm gonna do like two swatches um, off of each plate on my actual fingernails. And then I'm con gonna continue stamping some images onto a piece of paper. I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't wanna um, leave you without a little bit of peel porn. So I'm just gonna go ahead and peel off the blue film off of these, well, at least one of them. And the rest I'll do off camera. And I just use my tweezers for that. And as usually, blue foam removes really easily. I am going to wipe these down with acetone, no matter what. I just do that always um, when I get a new plate. Um, just wipe them down once with a bit of acetone, just in case you know there's any like um, residue from the blue film or whatever. And now I've touched it with my fingers, so <laughs> cleaning it makes sense. So I'm just gonna give them uh, a quick wipe down with acetone and then I'll begin stamping. Okay, before I start stamping, I'm just gonna show you what um, products I'm using. And the base color um, that's on my four fingers is China Glaze Good Tidings. I just love their funny names and it's from um, 2016's holiday collection actually. <laughs> um, and it's a mini and I just really like those minis. Um, I mean, they're, they're kind of hard to grab onto but um, I think it's a perfect amount if you just want you know, do a couple of manis and don't want to buy like a huge um, bottle of China glaze. Anyways, I am rambling. Good, and for stamping, I am of course going to use my Moyo London um, Black Knight stamping polish. And as I mentioned before, my Moyo London um, sticky stamper, and this is actually uh, a miniature version of it. Um, I don't know, I received it with um, an order I did a while back as a gift, and I hated it at first because it's so freaking sticky. It's so sticky that you can hardly stamp on paper with it, and when you put it on your lint roller, sometimes um, the stamper hat gets pulled out of um, the holder because it's so freaking sticky, but um, I've come to really, really like it now. 
And as I said, with those fine lines on the Mojo London image plates, it's just the best thing that there is. And I am also gonna be using my Mojo London miniature. I No, it's not really miniature, it's their usual size, but it's really, I think it's pretty small and it's pretty firm. Um, if it doesn't really work on those plates, sometimes it doesn't because they're so deeply etched. Uh, I'm gonna switch to like a more flexible scraper, but for now I'm just gonna um, go with this scraper. So let me go ahead, do some more prep work, and then we'll start the actual swatches. So I've prepped my nails a little more. I've added a little bit of um, liquid latex around my cuticles. And as I said, I'm going to do two swatches off of each plate onto my actual nails, and then I'm gonna continue stamping onto a piece of paper. And for this plate, I think I'm going to use that um, Berlin Broadcast Tower um, and the Sagrada Familia because a very good friend of mine just moved to Barcelona, so it's gonna remind me of her. Good, um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do some swatches. with plate number five and I've decided to do this little um, image right here. It's a bunch of little X's. <laughs> X's and I'm gonna do that leafy image because it's so dense and the other one is so fine, um, such fine lines. I just wanna give them both a try on my nails. So now, <clears throat> as I promised you, I am going to do a couple swatches on a piece of paper. And for that, I am going to switch to my Galaxy Stamper because the sticky stamper uh, in the Moyu, in the small Moyu holder and the paper and the swatches, they don't mix very well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do um, not all of these images, but a few of those images onto this piece of paper. And I'll show you each image on the stamper and on the paper. swatches for you sorry for the crooked um, <laughs> um, placement but it's really hard to do with the galaxy stamper and I didn't want to use a clear stamper so you could see the images better um, I did have um, a little bit of problem scraping with these two images that's down to the um, heart scraper I guess <clears throat> I'm gonna redo those with a more flexible scraper so I brought out my born pretty store flexible scraper and I'm gonna retry these two images down here. You can really see the difference. And you know, sometimes you just gotta find the right configuration of uh, polish, scraping, scraper, stamper, technique or whatever. But you can see that this image picked up way, way better and like these two crappy images are down to my bad scraping and I am just gonna stay with a flexi scraper for now because I honestly like them better anyway. So I'm gonna um, switch to plate number four and meet you back.
final verdict on these Moyo London Scandi series um, new stamping plates. Uh, it will come as no, to, uh, no surprise to you if you've ever used a Moyo London plate before that these stamp absolutely amazing both on paper and on my nails. And here's the swatches I've crappily done today for you guys. And as you can see, it does matter which kind of scraper you use and which kind of stamper you use. And it also uh, matters how fast you go about your stamping. I mean, usually you don't show the image to a camera first, but so there's the swatches and there's my nails again. I'm gonna add a couple still photos at the end too. So my verdict is I absolutely love this Scandi series. I love the minimalistic design of these. I love the versatility of these like kind of backdrop images, background images on plate number five. I love those like city icon images on number uh, four. And well, I just love my London plates. They're my, you know, they're my first stamping love. Um, they're actually like brand. I actually the first brand I tried out um, when I began stamping. I, well, I began stamping with like a cheap set off of Amazon, which I actually threw in the trash because it just wouldn't stamp at all. And I just wouldn't give up. So I bought a Moyo London plate and that absolutely changed my life. And I've been addicted to nail stamping ever since. Uh, yes, I readily admit that. And I love Moyo London plates. They are always great quality. I've never, well, I did have an issue once with an image being like, there was like the tiniest of scratches on it and they just replaced the plate, no questions asked. And that was perfect. I love these plates. And if you're into minimalistic um, designs, um, there's a lot of things you can do with these. Check out the other plates from that series too. And thanks for watching and thanks for bearing with me through these kind of crappy swatches. Um, and I hope to see you here again soon. Um, I will try to post more reviews in the future. And thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Bye bye.